This week represents an exciting new era for the LPGA Tour as Westchester Country Club hosts the inaugural KPMG Women's PGA Championship. It's the first time the PGA of America has run a women's major and former world number one Stacey Lewis was heavily involved in the process from the start. So Golfing Worlds Anna Whiteley caught up with the two-time major champion to find out more. Stacey Lewis, thank you so much for joining us. What a consistent season you've had already. Seven top tens in the bag, some close seconds. How are you feeling about the season so far? Um, I, at this point in time, I'm actually pretty frustrated with it. You know, I've, I've been close to playing some good golf and it just seems to be something little every week. And so it's, uh, you know, we kind of went back to the basics this week and said, you know, what have I done that's made me most successful? And we're going to try to get back to that. And, just do that going forward the rest of the year. And like you say, it must be frustrating because every weekend we see you in contention. In that final day, you've always got a chance of winning. How mentally draining is that? It, it's really tough. That's, you know, when the weeks when you're in contention are honestly the hardest. Um, you know, when you're just playing and barely making the cut and kind of going through the, through the deal, it's, you're just going through the motions, you know. You're not in the heat of the battle, dealing with all the pressure, the anxiety of it all. So it's, it's hard to be in there, but that's why I work out, that's why I stay in shape, and I feel like, you know, I can handle it pretty well. Well, this is a big week for you, and it's a landmark week for ladies golf. As we know, your sponsors, KPMG, have teamed up with the PGA of America and the LPGA to turn this into a world-class yes. major tournament. How much more does this mean to you? And tell us about the work that you've put into it. Yeah, I mean, this week, it's been a year in the making. Um, it, um, it's crazy to think how far we've come. You know, this tournament is so much bigger. All you got to do is walk on property, and you can get you know, the feel of it, feel of what a major championship should be. And I'm proud to have my sponsor on it. I'm proud that, you know, I helped in the creation of it all. You know, they've come to me with, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? What can we do better? And, you know, there are, KPMG is already asking me, what can we do better for next year? And I'm like, let's just get through this one first. <laughs> And this is obviously a championship which is so rich in history. Does it feel nice to give it a fresh new feel? Yeah, it um, you know definitely feels different. It feels bigger. It feels better. It feels what a major should be. So you know I'm just excited to you know to be kind of the one leading the way for it. And you know hopefully other the girls are taking notice. Well, we'll let you find Travis and play <laughs> your right. second shot. Awesome. We'll catch you in a minute. Okay, thanks. <laughs> This week isn't just empowering women on the course, it's yes. also about off the course as well. Tell us about the Women's Leadership Summit that's happening here during Championship Week. Um, well, the Leadership Summit, Summit is really why KPMG is involved. You know, that their big initiative, that's why they signed me, that's why I've been with them for three, four years now, is to, you know, grow the number of women in business and specifically in those leadership roles and in those executive roles. And so um, the summit this week is we're bringing in 300 women to learn from literally from the best. I mean, you've got Condoleezza Rice as our keynote. You've got top, you know, CEOs from all over business. I mean, it's it's just amazing the the people that have showed up for this week. And you're on the board alongside Annika and other Hall of Famers. It seems like nurturing and developing the women's game is really important to you. It is. You know, I want to grow this game of golf. I want to, you know, people to people to see that you can use golf in the business world. You know, that's the big thing I think KPMG has done so well is they've used golf to grow their business. And, um, you know, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. And also to grow the women's game, you know, so it's around with these little kids that are out watching, you know, I want them to be, this should be a standard. You know, this was what these tournaments should be like. And so that's what, that's my goal for when I'm done playing. And it seems like it's all about the message of breaking boundaries and shattering glass ceilings, which is almost exactly <laughs> what you do in your yes. KPMG TV campaign. Tell us how that came about and what it was like filming with the legendary Phil Mickelson. Um, well, you know, KPMG kind of, they came up with the whole commercials and all of that. And uh, Phil and I got together last December and we filmed it. And uh, he was so on board. I mean, he was throwing ideas at them for not only the commercials, but for this tournament, for signing me. I mean, Phil's been a key to all of this happening. And so just to have his support, you know, he has daughters. He gets it. You know, he understands how important this week is. And it's just such a great message to be telling youngsters that golf is a way to break boundaries and to push yourself. What do you think also can we tell the youngsters through that message? 
Um, you know, it's just, you know, we're changing the way things people think about it. You know, we're changing the golf courses, the type of courses we're playing on. We're playing on courses that maybe, you know, have been men only for such a long time. And so we're, ba we're breaking a lot of barriers this week and just showing girls that, you know, anything is possible. And that's, that's what we're trying to do. Well, we think it's fantastic what you're doing. Best of luck this year. Thank you so much. Thank Stacey. you. <laughs> Thank you very much.